Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So the FOMC statement last night really focused on uh, sluggish economic growth prospects in the US and that any future interest rate was obviously going to be tied to future uh, macro data uh, with slight concerns over the labour market and inflation as ever. Uh, but it was a relatively downbeat report which uh, basically caused most other global markets to <clears throat> come off ever so slightly. Uh, the US, it was kind of widely expected it was going to be ar ar around this uh, kind of rhetoric and terminology anyway. So the US 30 dips slightly on the news. Uh, 18,000 is still the potential support level. We've almost got a crossover there on the moving averages. The other technicals are kind of flattening out, not really doing a huge amount. But uh, as you can see there, we do have a high, a lower high, and uh, you're kind of just like kind of floating around. We haven't gotten above 18,174. The uh, match just stay above there with any conviction. So, um, Bank of Japan also came out with uh, the fact that they're keeping the stimulus as as is, so they're not adding to uh, not adding to that that, that that package. So the Japan 225 has come off slightly as well. Some people were hoping there might be a little bit more, uh, and we've seen some some decent moves on on FX yesterday and into the night as well. So looking at the UK 100, uh, came off quite negatively yesterday. Um, we're off the session lows, bounced off the 55 period SMA, trading below 6964, which is the potential support level again this morning, that's showing kind of weakness in the European markets. Um, obviously, Greece is still uh, firmly in the, in the limelight. We have seen the euro continue to spike up higher. We're trying to hope that there's going to be a, a deal sorted out there with the creditors sooner rather than later. Uh, but this is the level to look out for 6964. Failing that, 6906 is the next potential support level to look. So Japan 25 is not moving the right direction following that uh, uh, Bank of Japan statement. Um, we are getting closer now to that 55 period SMA, which would also be the bottom end of this um, trend line support. Other technicals are, are neutral, ticking down, but um, this is quite an ugly series of candles. Um, this is uh, three black crows as you get an advancing candle um, body increasing with the last three basically. Obviously we still have today's candle to look forward to but we actually had a doji formation here on the Monday as well so um, that's looking a little bit ugly in the short term. Looking at dollar yen 119 there's actually nothing else to talk about with pro dollar yen. Um, this pivot level has been in play for a while. It does seem to be that we're gonna that we're slowly crunching below it which would open up 117.36 but for now 119 is still very much uh, the pivot focus for uh, for dollar yen. Looking at West Texas crude inventories, surprisingly, came in to show that there had not been such a big increase. So we actually had uh, one of the biggest spikes in, uh, in crude for some time. Getting out of that consolidation move, iron up 59, uh, 50 cents now. So that's uh, an interesting move for West Texas. So keep an eye on that. Uh, it's it has it did break 58 and now it's currently at 57.50, but I think it probably can get there in the short term. So. Following on from the FOMC, biggest surprise for me probably was the fact that gold moved down. Um, so if things were quite gloomy for the uh, for the economy over in the US and they're not looking to raise interest rates anytime soon, um, you know why is gold dropping down? So 1218 remains to be the potential resistance. 1186 is the potential support. Uh, hitting that 21 period SMA just now. The other technicals are pretty much a waste of time as, as, as we speak, but the only one that looks to be current, currently in play is this uh, 21 period SMA. So 1218 is still a longer term potential support. Should US economic data continue to disappoint, you would expect that gold will tick up, um, but there maybe might be some sort of uh, FX mechanics involved in, uh, in, in the sell off on gold, or maybe it's with people taking a little bit of profit before the uh, after we had these particularly good days there on uh, Monday and Tuesday. But it does seem to be a little bit surprising that gold has not benefited more from last night's FOMC. So, looking at euro dollar, it, spiked, it continues to, to spike higher, breaking above one spot 10.98, so one spot 11. That's broken resistance now expected to act as support. Uh, obviously, the US dollar took a bit of a beating last night in the back of the FOMC, but uh, the euro is continuing to kind of soldier on that little bit. And uh, as long as we stay above uh, 111, we should be looking okay. Currently, we're only at 111.19, but uh, if we break and stay above that, then the next potential support is all resistance, sorry, is all the way at one spot 16. So that would be a significant move for euro dollar. So finishing up with GBP USD, um, equally extending its move to the upside, and that's still following um, that disappointing data release. Uh, G UK GDP came out much worse than expected. That was a couple of days ago, actually, about two days ago. Um, but now we've broken above one spot 54.24. We're looking at one spot 56 now as the next potential resistance. 
Um, in fact, US GDP wasn't that much better either, now that I think about it. But um, this has been an incredible rally in the sterling, pretty much starting the 13th of, of April and not, not really stopping. Uh, I'm not showing that much signs of stopping either. So, I come data wise, it's still to come out today. You've got German employment, you've got uh, CPI from the Eurozone, uh, US unemployment, uh, Chicago PMI. Nothing really super exciting, but obviously you have your recurring alerts for the CPI. That'd be interesting for for further moves in your dollar. And then tomorrow we've got some Chinese PMI, UK PMI, US PMI, uh, and then domestic auto industry sales. Depending if that's a, a sector that's of, of interest to you. If you're obviously trading US auto, auto um, stocks, then that will be of interest. Uh, and that rounds up the end of the week. So as ever, keep you on the chart forum, make insights part of your going forward, and join me again on uh, Friday to find out what happened next.